Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to do a recipe out of Trader Vic's Book of Food and Drink. This was published in 1946. And Trader Vic is known as a tiki guy. Very complex drinks with lots of different ingredients and three or four different kinds of rum and you throw in all kinds of, and then you put in all like, this is not that. Trader Vic had a really simplistic side to him where he really liked individual flavors and wanted to taste them. And this is an example of that. This is called the Bee's Kiss, a recipe that is lost in the sort of, I don't want to say trashy tiki, but you know, trashy tiki. Very simplistic recipe, three ingredients, Bee's Kiss, starts out with a teaspoon of cream. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of cream in each one. We're going to do two different rums today. He calls out specifically Bacardi rum. And when this cocktail in this book was written, Bacardi rum was made in Cuba. Today, it's not made in Cuba. Today, it's made in Puerto Rico. Um, and I'm going to use a Cuban rum, an actual Cuban rum that is made in the old Bacardi distillery in Cuba. Next, it calls for a teaspoon of honey. And so this is a very interesting honey. Um, friends of ours keep bees in the city. And so this is city honey. And so these bees are foraging in Taylor Creek um, within the city of Toronto. And it's got a really interesting flavor. It's very much unlike country honey. So teaspoon in each one. And I'll move this one back over here. Okay, so one ounce of the Cube rum. And that one, switch to a different measuring device and one ounce of the Bacardi in this one. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a stir to get the honey off the spoon. Ice and shake. And double strain. Hey, Glenn. Hey, hey friends. Jess. So, um, is it okay if I say that visually? It's not very attractive. Visually, that drink is not that yeah. grand. It has a, I think, it, well, clearly it must where's be the cream. The, where's the page? So it's called. Huh. I had the page. Oh, there it is. I had the page marked. <laughs> so it's called the Bee's Kiss. Okay. And it calls specifically so for one ounce of rum. And this is something that I, I, I have a difficult time in, in the comment section sometimes explaining to people. In the past, cocktails were smaller. Yes, well, and, and they were mainly alcohol. In the past, they were often served in a tiny little glass like that. I have stuff from the 19... 20s and earlier that is served in that tiny little glass. And again, they were mainly alcohol. It was all alcohol. Not juice. No. Alcohol was something that was available. Juice. Not some giant monstrosity of... No. No. So, so this is, this is the, the, the culture and some of the culture of drinking at this point was not just to have one giant massive cocktail and then follow it up with another giant massive cocktail. It was to have a bunch of smaller tastes along the way and enjoy something that was only an ounce, and then you move on, you try something else. Well, here's our ounce of Bee's Kiss. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Was it Bee's Kiss? I can't remember yes, what it is. Bee's Kiss. The Bee's Kiss, okay. Um, so this one is Kube, and that one is Bacardi. Oh, okay. I don't know that that's for me. <laughs> I'll try this one. Nope. That was very different. Yep. Um, I would say. I don't know if it, I don't know if it, I mean, let's face it. We all know that I happen to really like gin. And I'm not that fond of rum. So it could just be that I'm not enjoying it because I'm not enjoying the rum flavor. 
I was going to I was going to say to tag on to that. Mm-hmm. I find the one made with Bacardi more pleasant because it's flavorless. You get the honey. Yeah, you get it's the just, honey. You get the honey. It's just the sweet honey. This one you can taste rum. So the Kube, you can taste the rum and the honey kind of gets lost in that. And I think that 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 flavor doesn't work well together. The Bacardi I find less egregious because it's you just get the honey. I find the cream an interesting texture though to the whole thing. Like the honey and cream, I yeah. find it an interesting texture, and I, I, I'm, I wonder. Okay, so I'm, I'm never gonna order this. No. No. But that texture and the honey with a different flavor to it, like maybe like the, the. So what's if we the th- flower one, the elder. Uh, oh, elderflower. Elderflower or Saint Germain. Something that something else that I enjoy that has a sweetness to it. Oh, that might be too sweet with the honey. Okay, so. So last week we did the white lady, the white lady from 1930, 1934. This one's much whiter. And so, and so the current recipes for white lady include cream. So what if in addition to all of those, I might not like the modern white lady, but if you put the, you put the cream and, and the honey in in with with the the gin. gin and maybe leave the Cointreau out or dial back the Cointreau a little bit. Okay, that's for another day. Um, this one doesn't work for us, but if it sounds good to you, give it a shot. Yeah. Maybe you've got a rum. Maybe you love rum, and maybe you have a rum that you really like, and you can. this is something where you can play with it and use it as a starting point. It adds a little sweetness to your rum. It adds a little uh, creaminess to the, to the yeah. mouthfeel. Maybe it's exactly what you love. Maybe you needed to have five other small cocktails from Trader Vic's before you got to this one. <laughs> that could be true as well. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. <laughs>